In her eyes, she was very fear, very afraid, very confused, and she must be wonder what will happen to her. We get a story of Gabu about four weeks ago. When I first saw her picture and get information, I think this elephant is our priority. We have to go to find out about her and help her. The journey to go to see where Kabu lives is not easy. This is a really steep hill and a deep jungle. She works in a very high mountain. I still wonder how is the lame elephant can be survive in this difficult area. Even when we walk, we are almost fell to the cliff. Kabu was born in the Karen village. This is a hill tribe that is looked after the elephant and they work elephant for the locking. On her young age, as the same every baby elephant who the mother work for the locking, they are still nursed, but the mother is still working, so she follow her mother to work. Kabu injured only one left leg, the other leg is still okay, until they force her to work to pull the lock. Then she have to use the right leg help to support during to pull the lock. After that, her other leg is turned to be lame and injured. You can see that now it's very difficult to walk. We managed to put Kabu on the truck and journey to Chiang Mai. When we found Kabu, I still found that the owner ride her on the back. And when I first saw him, I couldn't accept that. I started to tell him and yelling him to get off of the elephant. Because in that case, no one should ride her again. The Mahout is not really satisfied with that. But as we already have rescued her, we have the right to take that elephant to freedom. Basically, we're just um, calming her. We fed her. She really liked the bananas and the tamarind that we gave her. She um, understandably was a little bit travel sick, so um, she'd never been in a truck before. We also, when it got really hot, we took these water hose and water bottles and we're just pouring them over her back and making sure that she kept cool and comfortable um, as much as she could. She got on the truck, she could tell she was surrounded by people who loved her and she was in better hands and she was obviously still really scared. Um, and it was a long drive trying to get her back. We rescue so many elephants. Most of them when they arrive with us, they come with a mental problem. But seeing Kabu is worse than anyone, not just only physical, also mental. She's desperate, she's starving, she's so fear with any, anything that she see. We promise that Kabu will go on taking care all the rest of her life. She will have no more chain, no more pain, no more hook, and no more brooding her again.